Ladies and gentlemen, The Walking Dead Season 11 Part 3, I guess you can call it 11C, whatever. The final episodes of The Walking Dead, the trailer from Comic-Con has just released. I cannot wait to watch this. It's about three minutes long. This is the first frame of the trailer here. I, you know, there's a lot of things I haven't liked about the recent seasons, but I, I don't give a shit. I just want to see how it all wraps up. I want to see how it ends because there has been a lot of things I have loved about it as well. I hope Rick returns. I don't know if he'll be in this trailer, but I don't know. I let's just let's just watch this. I don't want to waste anyone's time. Let's do this. This isn't gonna be easy. Is it ever? I just want to see a bunch of Negan. Okay, so it comes out October second. Okay, it's pretty soon. Oh, we're getting Flash. Oh, these are just yeah to hype it up. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. I love how they did this. And the music is like a... Damn, the music's good. Wait, I'm sorry. I feel like the quality's not up to par. Okay, it is, apparently. <laughs> oh, the music. The music? Before it gets to anybody. Oh shit. It looks really good already. You wanna die screaming. The hell's going on to Alexandria? I know they took it over, so I don't know what they're doing there though. We got holy shit. Is that Commonwealth? They actually give us some nice big shots of Commonwealth? That's good. Holy shit. Yo, what is happening? This world is broken. This isn't the future my mom and dad fought for. I wish things were how you want them to be. But I have to keep you safe. The hell is gonna rain down on you. There's so much happening, I, I can't really keep up with it. <laughs> Some good walker action, that's good. Oh shit. Fall back. Fall back. Nice. We're actually getting good action. People remember the last thing that you do. This has really big potential. I mean this looks good. Okay. That was a really good trailer. Heard stories, walkers that can climb walls and open doors. What? I was never sure if they were just stories. Oh shit! <laughs> They're gonna give us those walkers in this season? Okay. I haven't finished World Beyond yet, but I have seen the, um, oh, I'm not going to lie. There was a little tiny piece of me that was expecting Rick to show up at the end, but I guess they're going to save that. I'm, he's going to be in this. There's no way he's not returning. That just wouldn't make any sense in any way, shape or form for him not to return. So I know we got movies planned and stuff like that, but I, he's got to be here. Like he, he has to, you know what I mean? But holy shit, I'm gonna actually break this down because it just there's a lot that was going on there, and I really want to talk about it. Okay, I got the trailer here. We're gonna break this thing down. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit just so we can break down some of the clips. Why is the volume still so loud? Okay, so we're gonna break this down a little bit because I I just there's a lot here. There's a lot to unpack. Um, so obviously they give us this little opening which was really nice. I liked it. Um, but we get to the stuff here, and. We got Lance, he's seemingly building up an army. I mean, he already has his army. He doesn't really need to build up any more of an army. But um, people living outside the walls, they don't really have a home. That's the thing. So Alexandria, I mean, 
don't know. They got like prisoners here. I don't know where they're bringing them, but we'll see. A lot of walkers. A lot of walkers in this trailer, which is good. It's The Walking Dead. You need to finish the season with a lot of walkers. That makes perfect sense to me. I love this shot right here. This shot is gorgeous. Because I believe that is Commonwealth. Those are the walls of Commonwealth. And I've been saying that. That was one of my biggest problems with 11B. It felt like it was so low budget to the point where they couldn't even get like a nice shot of what Commonwealth actually looks like on the outside. It looked like a like a like a set of like a sitcom or something. Like something like that where you don't really get to see the scope of it. But at least now we have a scope of Commonwealth and it's it's right here. It's huge. It's massive. That's what it should be. And I love that. I'm, I'm assuming this is Commonwealth, right? Unless this is some new community that we're going to get introduced to. But I'm pretty sure this is Commonwealth. Again, thank God they actually put some damn budget into this, these final episodes because uh, we can have stuff like that. So that's good. But um, a lot of stuff going on here. There's a bit of a thing breaking out here. I'm assuming these are the the uh, resist the Commonwealth people, right? The The whole gang that was being created. Maybe they're just opening fire i don't know who they're opening fire on it looks like there's some court meeting down here but it, it looks good daryl's got lance so they do come up against them at some point who is negan beating up here is he is negan beating up sebastian <laughs> i think he's beating up sebastian that's what it looks like a lot of Negan in this trailer. That's great. This is crazy here. Look, some Commonwealth soldiers. The dude gets yoinked out of the back of the truck. You see that? He gets yoinked. Look at that. A lot of Walker fighting and stuff. It's pretty cool how this how Daryl took out that guy. Um, this looks like it spoils someone's death, so I'm not gonna look at that too much because I don't want to see who it is. Because but I can introduce some new character and then they just show him dying in the trailer. I don't want to see. I don't want to get a good look. Some weird traps. This nighttime stuff here looks pretty cool. We got soldiers getting ripped apart. A lot of guns being used, which is great. Eugene's beating up a soldier, it looks like. It's a lot happening here. I like this shot. They don't look knocked out. They look like they're just sleep. No, they look knocked out. <laughs> Why would they just be sleeping on the floor like that? I don't know. So many shots. It's hard to, you know. So is Sebastian getting the upper hand on Negan here? I don't know. Maggie looks really cool here. I like this shot. And then that ends the trailer. And then Aaron. This is what's so interesting. Aaron's talking here about walkers that can climb and stuff what is this renaissance oh this is in france maybe i don't know okay so i have limited knowledge because i haven't finished world beyond so anybody who has finished world beyond can let me know in the comments i'm on like season two episode five so i'm almost there but i have seen the clip at the end where there's some lab where a walker is running right so there's running walkers but isn't that wasn't that in another country was it in france what country were they in so maybe this is like that other country of walkers that can run and climb and all that shit, which is interesting. I mean, I don't, I think it's a bit lazy. I'll be honest. It's one of those, like, how do we make things more intense? Let's just make walkers different than they have been for the past 11 years of the walking dead. It's a little lazy, but could it make the last season more exciting? Sure. If we could have, a, a, you know, scenes where walkers are running at our groups and our group is just like, what the fuck is going on? Like it could be kind of cool. I just think it's a little bit lazy because they probably just decided that to just make things more exciting rather than finding other ways to make things more exciting. But whatever, it could work and I could completely, that, that whole complaint there could um, not be a, a problem at the end of the day. So I do wish they showed us Rick just to, just to hype us up a little bit because I know it's going to get leaked anyways. You know, it's going to get leaked before it happens and we're all going to know it's going to happen anyways. They're probably going to want to hype it up. I'm sure they're going to give us some teases leading up to it of him returning. So I feel like showing him here would have just been, you know, the cherry on top for this trailer. But I like this trailer. It was a good trailer. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I will see you all on my next one. If there is more news at Comic-Con today revolving around The Walking Dead, whether it's the Rick movies or something else, I might be covering that as well. So I'll let you guys know. And uh, yeah, peace out.